Here we go. First video of the two now. Okay, everybody, here we go. First YouTube video of the 2019 off season. Yes, I know it's still technically 2018, but it's the off season. It's September and we are starting to get things rolling. This is it, Monday, first day back today. Monday, weight training galore, weight training class coming up. Watch it and learn. Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Air Throws Nation and I wanna welcome you to this video. I just jumped back in. We're gonna talk about some off-season concepts and thoughts and there's so many things that you need to do in order to throw far and have a big 2019 season. So here's what we're gonna focus on. We need to get the mindset right. We need to be focusing on the right things. Today I had an athlete and I explained that every little movement you do right is like saving a dollar. So that means when we're focused on core details when you do things and they're just a a little bit different it's like saving a buck and so that doesn't seem like a lot but if I wind up doing that 10 times a practice I save ten dollars every practice times five practices that's 50 bucks a week times four weeks now I got two hundred dollars saved and clearly over the course of a year I've got over twenty four hundred bucks it's a little tiny bit a little bit of dollar and you do that for multiple years you've got thousands of dollars saved up so that's really the equivalent to understanding throws training you can spend all kinds of time energy and get nothing and get your get a penny back who wants a penny back who wants to be losing money nobody okay so here's the point you've got to freaking learn how to throw it's that simple simple details that's the whole basis of our system that's what we focus on the videos we put here on YouTube we're trying to make sure you understand how critical these details are it makes all the difference in the world so there's a reason why most of our athletes will PR in our system usually within the first week to 10 days, big time. And we'll see big improvements all the time. So here's one of the four things. When we work that today, again, you've seen, I've done some other videos on how to do proper stand throw position, but we're gonna add a little, we're gonna add two simple drills that are really gonna help you understand how to set up your power position. So one of the things we wanna understand is that we teach that when we're focusing on delivery and we're in this phase, the delivery phase is moving forward. You're gonna notice a couple the key things we talk about our pillar five which is locking down power we get on the legs we get the foot on the ground and we're gonna get this foot from here to here that's our pillar five pillar six we segment it like that so that we can focus on those key little connection points because you don't get from here to here without understanding this little intricate motion so one of the simple drills we're gonna do is called a drill down and one of the things we see a lot of young throwers doing is there's too much lift and a lot of throwers pull the shoulder and the hips are facing over here and they're coming off the ground. Well, one of the things we wanna do is a simple drill called a drill down. We're gonna push and we're gonna learn how to come down into the ground. And this is a great drill for those people that are off the ground, constantly throwing sector fouls. It teaches you the timing of how to get the right hip around and into the throw. And we don't wanna be pulling our head back. We'll talk about that in another video. Is it the C back or is it stretch reflex? Really important, it's stretch reflex. Okay, so here's the deal. So the drill down drill, we're focusing on setting up our angle. And one of the things we do is we're gonna learn how to pivot that foot and drill down into the ground. You see some videos out there of people there, they're doing up, up, up. And that's great for super freak anomaly athletes, but for most athletes that are learning to throw and even more advanced throwers, you gotta learn that concept of how to be connected to the ground because the longer you're connected, the more force you apply to the implant. If it's the shot, there's a little bit of a deeper leg load, but the drill down can be done with both. Rotational shot, we drill down, we're here and in the discus we drill down we're always working this position and that's where we finish with that type of block position simple drill really easy because as I drive this knee down into the ground notice that the knee is in front of the toe and it's pulling my hip around past the left side or your block side so for those lefties out there if I'm throwing this way and I'm drilling down, you're gonna notice how this hip comes past the block leg, that's the key. Simple drill, give it a shot. Remember, the key to being a successful thrower or coach is to understand how important little details are in your throw. So thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, I always like to have you back 
and give it a nice kick. Hit that subscribe button. You'll be notified for our next video. It's, it's the off season, people. We got tons of stuff coming. This is important stuff. And if you're watching this and it's during the season, it applies as well. All right. Thanks so much. And thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.